Hello traders, my name's Ray, better known as Samurai Trader and I love day trading. My job is to teach you how to day trade the world's best day trading strategies no matter which market you trade, whether it be futures, forex or stocks. So whatever we go through today, just remember you can apply it to any market because in the end, as you'll discover in the coming series, the markets are what we call fractal in nature. Now in today's session, we're going to be specifically looking at how to read price action from the right hand side of the charts. The most, one of probably the most important skill that you need to learn. Now we're going to be looking at some of these trades, how you sculpt the market, how you day trade and how you pick up the home runs. Now I'll probably make this session one because I want to try to limit this at 30 minutes and uh, then perhaps in the second one we'll have to continue because I doubt it I'll get through everything in the one video. Now I recommend that you uh, have a good uh, spiral notebook at hand and a pen because I promise you I'm going to share some ideas that will make a massive difference to your trading. Now, as we do get underway, I do need to pull up the disclaimer, there is a risk in trading. As you're going to be watching the video, please feel free to pause the video to watch the disclaimer. Uh, this is going to be about the only ad I give you. Uh, you please feel free to download a copy of my training manual where you'll discover how we trade the Forex futures and stock markets a whole lot more. So, uh, and I mustn't forget, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can be kept up to date with the, my latest videos. All right, so let me start to set the scene. I want you to imagine for a moment that you're a pilot. A pilot in an aircraft needs to learn how to fly by wire, of course, by electronics, by reading their instruments. Now, in our business, we have what we call indicators. And basically what the word indicator means is to indicate. Our indicators are there to indicate potential setups. Now what you're going to be seeing in a moment on my screen are most common indicators you can basically find on every trading platform. But what you've got to learn to do traders is to learn what I call the get ready, get set, go strategy as far as looking for a setup. And We'll be looking at a number of charts as you're about to see, but then we'll go through on the right hand side exactly what we're looking for. Now, when we're day trading, and this really applies to any sort of trading, there are four basic strategies to learn. Retracements, that is pullbacks, then the trend continues. Reversals, that is a change in trend, a counter trend. Breakouts, after a period of consolidation or chop or a pullback even, we can go into a um, uh, a period of consolidation and range bound, uh, also known as chop, which is not my cup of tea. I'm what we call a momentum trader. Now, what is very important for us to learn is for various markets. And one of the things I want to teach you here is the market we're going to be focused on in this uh, session today, and maybe the next one also, will be on the mini Russell, the M2K. Now, the Russell normally, the RTY is $5 a tick. So the micro is 50 cents a tick. And the reason we're going to be looking at this market, one of the most common in the, um, uh, emails I receive or, or requests from my members and from the general public is what's the best market to start with day trading? Or what is the smallest practical account size I can start with? Now, of course, you can start with less than $1,000, but I recommend if you're going to uh, trade the Mini Russell, that you consider having at least a $1,000 trading account, because what is very important traders is what we call the money management rules of a maximum of 2%. Now, unfortunately, many traders watching this video won't follow the 2% risk rule. And unfortunately, most of those traders uh, will continue to blow their accounts. Money management is one of the most important factors besides psychology in mastering the art of day trading. Now, with the chart we're about to look at, this is important. We're going to be looking at, at what we call an eight tick Renko. 
Now, the size of a chart that we use when we day trade or scalp the markets, which I do both and most of my members do both, will depend on the speed of the market and the time of day. Now, typically, there are three trading sessions. We've got the New York, which is the most volatile, generally speaking, the highest volume traded. Then we roll over into the Asian session, which is my session down under in Australia. Then we roll into another session, which really suits me well, is the London session. And then of course, we roll back over into the New York session. So the time of day can have a big impact on the size chart that we trade. Now, the other thing is, a trader needs to be really comfortable with the market, needs to be trading the right market at that right time. Now, with the M2K, with the Mini Russell, I have to say, and with the Russell, the big contract, it really is ideally traded. The best market to trade it is during New York. It does pick up, the volume does pick up during a London session, but it really is ideal, sort of from about 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time through to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So it, you, you have some restrictions there. I'm just looking at market depth now. Now it's now 3 p.m. in uh, the afternoon, which gee, that, that must be getting close to about midnight USA. Uh, and we've got, you know, on the bid size, you've got four contracts, 10, 15, 20, and on the uh, ask side, you've got about the same. So if you're trading one or two contracts, maybe up to five contracts, no problem. However, it's still quite slow. Your trading range is small. Now, this is important. Using the stops I'm gonna be showing you on the entries, our average stop is going to be $13. If you add in a dollar commission on the micros, um, it's going to vary from broker to broker. It'll make it around $14. So if we apply the 2% rule, we need a seven and a half, uh, sorry, my apologies, a $700 account plus a buffer. That's why I recommend a buffer just when you first kick off to allow for a couple of losses. Now there's two main uh, trades we've got. We've got what we call the rule of one which we enter very early into a trend. You've only got an $8 risk plus commissions compared to 13. Now, this is important. What's important is having a target, a daily target. If you don't have a target, you're like a ship without a rudder. Now, I'll explain what a step is in a, in a moment when we get to the charts, but each step on this size chart is worth $2. So we wanna average somewhere between six steps and 10 steps per trade. So that is we need between five to net $50 a day and you'll see the huge impact on your bottom line, positive impact that will have in growing your account by netting five, six step trades a day. Uh, and if you wanna be netting 50 a day or only three 10 step trades a day. And I'll show you how to get these larger moves. Now, we are gonna be looking at the Renko I won't have time to go to the tick charts, but if you uh, trade tick charts as well, or you prefer tick charts, well, that's mighty fine because I love tick charts as well. And I use a combination of both Renko and tick because Renko is beautiful for smoothing out the price action, but at times it can also hide some valuable information. Now, I mentioned to you $40, sorry, $50 I mentioned to you a day. Now, Let's assume here, this little calculator shows us, and as a member, you receive this, by the way, uh, but it's if you're allowing $1,000 per contract, uh, and if you target $40 a day, and if you leave your $40 in the account, and every time you earn $1,000, you start trading an extra contract. What this means is by week 24, you got the potential of, being, of earning over $10,000 per week trading the micros. Now, let me quickly say for the experienced traders here, humor me, because what I mean by that is when you're up to 62 micros, you're gonna be trading, remember, a micro is 10% of a big contract, so you're gonna be trading six large contracts by that stage, and you'll go to seven, then you'll go to eight, then you'll go to nine, etc., etc. and you can see your account size is growing over that time. So what it practically means is yes, you'll be starting by trading $1,000 per micro, but once you get up to $10,000 and you might flip over, particularly once you get to trading 20 
micros on this market now's the time to consider trading the big contract because also your commissions are a lot cheaper on the big contract but the bottom line is this say if your goal is to earn five thousand dollars a week as an income ongoing well we can see by week 20 that's where we are now practically very quickly as your account grows also you're not going to be risking and this is based upon a two percent risk okay you're going to drop your risk down over a period of time down to one percent preferably 0.5 percent yes your um, rate of return on your overall capital is lower but it's a lot safer it makes it a lot easier from a psychological point of view to trade now what if we then go for our $50 a day per micro and once again that's where we get those five six step trades a day I'm up to a potential there of 10,000 a week within 18 weeks uh, 25,000 a week within 23 this is the power of compounding 50 a day and just one more $60 a day where I uh, look at this here we're up to 30,000 a week within week 19 we're up to our 10 within 15 this is a potential that you have now this is not count compounding recklessly this is staying at a maximum of two percent and only increasing or adding an additional contract once you have an additional one thousand dollars in your account and we never ever risk any more than two percent now this is one of the core principles of what i'm going to be teaching you we want to be trading in the direction of the higher time frame traders you know these companies now in Southeast Asia that are actually paid now to go out there and spam competitors and to write negative um, posts people write crap about my strategies all the time in fact they're actually writing um, uh, crap about strategies from Jake Bernstein from uh, Larry Williams from Tom DeMarc uh, and many many others that I've modeled I'm proud to say I've probably got one of the largest trading libraries that I've amassed over the last 27 years actually I wasn't even going to turn to do this because I had no, I had no intention of doing this but let me just um, sorry I don't know if I, I pressed the wrong button but what I want to show you here and you can't even see my whole library here but I've got literally hundreds of books I truly do I used to own a traders library by the way so I've got literally hundreds of books and a huge amount of information that I've amassed over the years all of this is on trading research systems and strategies so let me tell you if there's something better I would tell you about it if there's a better indicator but the great news for you as a new trader even an experienced trader is that some of your most common um, uh, indicators that you have on every trading platform are some of the best there's no need to invest a fortune in mastering out of day trading through expensive software etc some of the best indicators that we have are, are, are free they're included in every trading platform now uh, I just wanted to point this out because we're going to be showing you I'm going to be showing you some really basic setups but kick butt every day but people say oh it's crap it doesn't work and you know, the 34 B's useless you know what traders you, you can't be half pregnant when it comes to trading you've got to be fully committed and unfortunately most traders in it just you know they think they're committed when they're only just merely interested you've got to be committed to your trading career you've got to become what we call a student of the markets now quite frankly most traders after only spending maybe 10 hours uh, maybe doing some back testing and and maybe even some live sim trading get bored they want to go live they blow a couple of counts and then all of a sudden they want to blame everyone else unfortunately what is rampant in the trading industry is that and social media today is that if someone doesn't make it they want to blame everyone else okay if there are some core principles to trading that have always been true and always will be true number one is practice um, you've got discipline you've got money management all of these core principles that so many traders are just not willing to follow I mean if you want to be a captain of an airline before that is to walk on an airplane and turn left rather than turn right and sit down the back you've got to have two and a half thousand hours of training time and unfortunately so many traders um, are, you know don't look at it that way they don't look at it as a career for an example if we look at I know I'll just I'd actually remove this slide here I just this is up above this one um, because I talk a lot about pilots and, and they're flying is it do you have a trading checklist now in this case this is a checklist on flying now 
here we are, we're flying by instruments as well. We've got to have checklists. Uh, but these are the sorts of things that, you know, most traders fly by the seat of their pants. They're not willing to put the time and effort in. All right, so what we're going to be doing and what I'm going to be showing you is how we trade in the direction of a higher time frame. At times, I'll be pointing out where I see some divergence trades because all markets um, pivot. So we'll see the market going from uh, turning and this is where we pick up some golden uh, uh, divergence trades. But unfortunately, a lot of traders here will try to pick the turn here or pick the turn here because traders love to try to pick market highs and market lows and they get stopped out. But there are some things that we can look for which are golden, which will really uh, improve the probability I'm just going to turn my air conditioning off, so excuse that beep, uh, sorry, on, <laughs> um, uh, which will really get us into these higher probability trades. So with that being said, uh, did I say please subscribe? Make sure you subscribe <laughs> just in case I forgot. So let's now go to the charts. So let's um, have a look at the, I mentioned the Russell. Let me just pull me back, I, I get so direct or things happening all left, right and center here. All right, so here we've got the eight tick Renko. Now what that means is for anyone that's not familiar with Renko, every one of these bars, they actually call them bricks, I just call them candles, is, got, is eight ticks, which is $4. Now remember here, let me pull it up again for you so we don't forget it. Remember uh, here I said six steps equals $12 or 10 steps, you got sevens, 14, eight, 16, etc. What exactly did I mean by that? What I meant by is that every time you step up, okay, that's two, that's four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So if I've got an entry here, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Okay, so the reason I really wanna get six steps because it well and truly covers my commissions and uh, basically, I'm looking at netting then a bit over $10 per trade because you can become very, very wealthy on just $50 a day. But unfortunately, most traders are impatient. Okay, so I suppose I should say this training is really for those that truly are serious about their trading career. So what I'm going to do, excuse me, I'll have some of my tea here. I've got this ready to roll at uh, this is at um, uh, Sunday afternoon when the market opens in the USA. And so what we're looking at here is three charts. If you're a brand new trader or, uh, or if uh, trading has been difficult for you up to now, you might start off with two. Now, it will just take some time to get used to this, but it's a bit like driving a stick shift motor vehicle, okay? And when you first top in, I've got to press this pedal, Pre uh, pedal, press this one, look in the rear vision mirror, use the indicator, look in the back, um, you know, but within 30 days, it's second nature. It's the same with this as well. So what we're going to be doing traders is trading in the direction of our higher time frames based upon retracements, pullbacks and reversals. This ain't rocket science, trust me, okay, what I'm about to show you. But what I'm also about to show you is, uh, I've lined it up deliberately just at the rollover, of, oh, sorry, at the open of the market on this Sunday, oh, just gone, and that's that little line you can see there. Now, I don't wanna scroll any further because we really, I don't wanna see what's ahead of us because what I wanna do is explain in detail exactly what I'm looking for. Now, what I will do at times though, is jump over to the anchor charts and pull those up and show you something because um, what I trade is patterns. Patterns repeat themselves every day, day in, day out when it comes to the market, whether I'm trading Forex, uh, or sorry, whether you trade Forex, futures or stocks, it really doesn't matter. Like just here, that there and this here, this is a pattern that's a pattern and you'll see what I mean in all of these and I want you to remember the terminology follow the gold okay now with that also being said you can be doing the same thing with tick charts exactly what I'm showing you and in fact I mentioned to you that I'll refer and I've got six screens so I can look at my tick charts on a separate window which I do because 
tick charts tell a different story at times. We'll see a lot of additional information that we don't have on our Renko, but I'll cover more of that as we progress. So let's go back to our Renko. So the market opens. When the market opens, usually the first four or five minutes, you know, it can go a bit crazy, okay? Usually if there's a, a gap to be filled, it will fill it. Now remember, every one of these steps is $2. Now let me just check the time here. Now what do I mean check the time on it? Now that's within seconds, okay? So it's not, proud. I'm waiting for really two to five minutes after the market opens. That's really what I'm looking. Now it's seven minutes past. Okay, now seven minutes pass, I've got a potential setup. Now, the white paper you see here is called my super scalper. Now that does not appear until I get a down tick or an up tick above the second candle. Okay, so it, it doesn't appear right there, it'll appear now. That will appear now. That one there appears now. All right, now I actually got the idea of this from John Carter back in the late 1980s. He's got an indicator, he calls it the um, scalper. I've just made a couple of adjustments to mine. I call it the super scalper. And yes, um, uh, if you've got TradeStation, Ninja Trader, I've had it coded. All my indicators are included for my members. All right, so if you're, just, if you're wondering. All of these other indicators, virtually um, a standard indicators. Look, this is too smooth. I Look, most members will use a standard stochastic um, or use a standard MACD. This is what I call a zero lag. Uh, and with that, I give you the settings uh, to, to which will model my one exactly on a standard indicator. This is a zero lag, so it's got a total different input that a standard MACD would have. All right. So now that the market's open, we're now in a downtrend. Okay, sorry, we've now got a, a, an entry signal. Let me say that. However, uh, let me just have a look at one thing here, which is very, very important. Because notice how now my EMAs are going sideways. And this is where the right-hand side reading now comes in. We look here, see the yellow, that's my 34 EMA. And now I've got a shorter EMA, there's two shorter period EMAs in between, and one is above the 34. So that tells me, or gives me a potential indication to be very, very cautious here of any shorts. So I'm gonna be, not take that as yet. I've also got my long-term stochastic is rising. If you're a pure price action trader, all you need is these moving averages, okay? You don't have to have these, but I just like, they're a nice, a nice additional um, confirmation tools. So now I've now got my three high closes. So this is now we're going to start looking for some trades. And the reason I'm looking for a trade, I've got a semi slingshot or what I call short term stochastic here. Traders, and let me tell you, after listening to me train you, say for 20 hours of this, you pick it up. It's not rocket science, okay? So this is your first session with me, or maybe you've even attended my coaching before. All right, it just takes time. So before this white um, paint bar appeared here, you would have had a green candle. That's what I call my get ready. Second one's my get set. My third one is my go. Now, generally speaking, if the market is slow enough, I'll use a buy stop or a sell stop. So here I'm gonna put in a buy stop and I'd actually have that in place from the time this first candle um, uh, set up. In fact, with virtually all the major markets, I've got um, a formula that I use and how many ticks uh, you count up and how you set them. So you can actually, as soon as you get a first uh, candle set up, and there's a way we do this, you can actually have a buy stop set up in the market exactly where you want it. And that way, if the market takes off, which quite often it will, you're in the trade. Now, the market's now rising. I've got a short-term stochastic hook, which is a nice bonus. Uh, here, my, my follow the gold, I'm heading up. I'm gonna take this entry. So where's my entry? One tick above the high. Where's my stop go? One tick below. Let's talk targets. What I've got above me is a pivot. Uh, floor pivots are about the only true leading indicator. Most indicators traders are at what we call a derivative of price, meaning they lag because they're based upon um, 
uh, price action of one candle ago, 20, 50, 100 candles ago. But floor pivots are a predictive indicator because they based upon calculations and look at the pivot bounce here, look at the pivot bounce here, okay? And you'll see this bounce off pivots every single day. Now, this is actually called a midline pivot, which is the 50% level. And in my training with members, uh, we do a lot of work on pivots because there's really a real lack of good quality training and, uh, on pivots. And I've been trained by some of the best in what to look for. Like, you know, you'll just see it in a moment. We, we bounce all the time because when you're heading into a pivot with trend, we call those pivot magnet trades. Okay, now notice here we're heading down. This is a pivot magnet trade short. That's a pivot magnet trade long. That's a pivot. These are extremely high problem. We're talking 90% trades when you're selling or buying with trend into a pivot. Now, here, remember earlier I said to you, we're after a minimum of six steps. Now, we're gonna to start to count now. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, as we get towards a pivot, there's our $12 there. Now I know we're using a buy stop and we're one tick above for all of those who are trying to pull the strategy apart. Well, maybe you should stop watching the video now because you're not gonna learn. Here's some traders and please, this is not meant to be condescending. You need to approach learning how to trade with, how can I use this? What's great about this? Because unfortunately, the mindset of so many people out there is to automatically try to rip something apart, and guess what? They never find anything useful in anything, or they keep, they keep looking for the um, next shiny object syndrome. Is um, You'll hear me explain, we always allow for the tick above and below and whatever, but let's just talk round numbers. Right, it's so, you know, there, there are two types of mindset. We've got what we call fixed mindset, and then you've got what we call the growth mindset. The fixed mindset people are the ones that have done it all and know it all. The growth mindset are, okay, uh, it looks good. Now, it doesn't mean you don't verify, but at least you're open to the possibilities. So here, traders, we're now up and we're nearly at 30 minutes. So I might just go a couple of minutes over and let me just stop my little timer so I know how far into a video I am. Um, so here, we're coming up to a pivot. We always prepare for a bounce. And what that means is if you were going to trail, so if you're going for a larger target, I want to make sure I lock some profit in. But this is also a fatal mistake that traders make. They don't know where their pivots are. Because quite often a pivot level can be alpha screen where you can't see it. Yet, if you go to buy just here or sell just there with some sort of trade or move or whatever, which you'll quite often have a signal only to be bounced off that position and then stopped like there. You can be stopped out of those. So it's important you know where your pivot levels are. So as we continue, Okay, we've got our stops up at seven, eight. Now here we only hit eight and we've now got a reversal candle just there. All right, so we can see our reversal candle and that technically is what we call a get set. Now we're out there now, we would have easily got our six, we went up, you can see there we've ticked past the eight and this is important. When you go back and back test the strategy uh, and even use a simulator, you must always allow for your target to tick through by one to three ticks, okay? Uh, because this is one of the things where a lot of traders go wrong with testing strategies and, um, or even if you're trading on the simulator, uh, you'll see price action quite often on a lot of platforms that it hits your target uh, and it covers it, you're out. But that's not really how it works, okay? You've got to allow for you to tick through by at least one tick to hit that target. So we're out, so there is our first six tick, or sorry, that's not six tick, six step move, which is $12. It hit eight, I know. You might have even be able to get seven out of that, but usually I want to wait for one to almost um, to reverse. Now, what have I got now? We're on the right-hand side. I look down at my MACD. 
this is what I call a T19. It's a lower probability divergence trade. Uh, a T19, and because I'm not looking at the anchor charts, uh, I could have divergence on the higher time frames, but I won't switch over right now and look. But um, uh, this is a T19. Now a T19, usually I'm only gonna take CT trades, by the way, when I've got three lower closes or three higher closes. So I'll call this as a trade and there's a number of reasons why it's higher risk. And one of them is this, see my EMAs, look at that support. I've got one, two, three major EMAs all here. We nearly always get a bounce at these levels. Okay, so we're coming down, we're in this trade, get ready for a bounce. Oh, well, there it is there. Okay, so there's the bounce there. So we could have either scalped it uh, there or just really stayed out of it. Now, if it is a T19, for any members watching this, you know why I would have stayed out of this because there's a 34 right there. Okay, if it was a 2D, we would have taken this every day of the week, as you know. So here I was uncertain because we're so close to the gold. Now, um, what's really interesting, I had a, a member email me the other week where one of their members had got, I think it was 84 or 82% on one of our, on the 34B, and I think he had about 85% win-loss ratio uh, on the two Bs. And one member said he was only getting, and this is off the top of my head, by the way, 75% and 73% or 72% win-loss ratios. Why is it differ? Well, traders, at times, we need to be willing to take what the market will give us. What do I mean exactly mean by that? What I mean by that is that if you've got a trade signal here, and let's just say if your risk there is $13, you might be a lot closer to a pivot there. You might only be $8 away from the pivot, hypothetically, or four steps. So we'll take that, and that's not set up so close, but sometimes we'll take those and we'll get out of a market where our risk was a lot higher than our reward, but it's a 95% trade. So the difference is sometimes we need to take what the market will give us because there are reasons we need to exit. Now, what might some of those reasons be? pivot levels, major EMAs, okay? Don't underestimate the power of your higher time frame EMAs. Now we're up to 32 minutes. What I'm gonna do is pause this now and mark this up as session one and we'll come back and we'll do some more. So uh, thus traders, I hope you've enjoyed this. Now uh, just a very quick advertisement and then I'm out of here. Okay, for $197, you can get, um, which has been described as a gold mine, the most comprehensive program there is that I know of. There are hundreds of files and folders and handouts in my training. This is a $10,000 plus program and what makes it even more valuable, I include eight live coaching sessions. That is, uh, I run a private coaching group uh, where I've got around 200 uh, traders in it every Tuesday and Wednesday evening, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And where we go over trades of the day, as I see anything setting up live in the Globex session, I'll point that out and show them how to trade that. Uh, and then after the first month, which is free, you can continue with the coaching for only $97 a month, uh, cancelling your time. All of that, including all my indicators for $197. End of ad, let's get into the next video. Thank you traders, see you on the next one.